Hello friends, good evening. It's Anna and precious little baby Hope here to go over my wax empties for the week. Um, I did want to go really quickly and say if this becomes an emotional video, I'm so sorry. Um, this is why baby Hope specifically is with me tonight. Um, Tuesday will be the three-year anniversary of my sweet, precious Dusty's passing. And I know she got her miracle. But that doesn't make days like this any easier. Because it's been, I just, what I would not give. I'm sorry, I've got a, a thing on the phone where, um... I can screen record and stuff, and it's in the way. I'm going to move this real quick. What I would not give to have the ability to get to her and talk to her. So, this is a very, very rough weekend. I thought about not even doing this video, but to be honest, wax is joy. And... Fragrance is joy. And my little precious Reborns. Oh, and they bring so much comfort. And so much joy. Come on, baby. And I thought, okay, I'll sit with baby Hope. And I will do this video. And talk to them about what a special, special friend our precious girl was. We were, she called us sisters of the heart. We were super, super crazy close. And I, there are days I literally still don't know how I get through a day without talking to her. Um, but I had to do this. I had to come on. I need to do this video and I need some time with precious baby Hope. So, I put her in a very soft pink sleeper. You'll notice that she's in a different outfit than she was in last week. Last week, she was wearing her precious flamingos. But I put her in this adorable, precious little sleeper that is actually, a, you guys cannot see it probably, but it's a little kitty cat. But it's so soft and pink. And of course... The soft pink for my for my precious Dusty. But I just thought it was fitting for her to wear this this weekend. So I'm going to have her in this probably through the anniversary on Tuesday. Maybe even a little bit longer. And then um, I've already picked out what her next change is going to be for my... Gosh, excuse me while I read something on the watch. For my Dusty's, um, her birthday is three weeks to the day later. So I've already picked out the next outfit that she'll wear for her, for precious Dusty's birthday. But I wanted to come on, and I know I haven't even gotten to the wax yet, but I wanted to explain to you guys why... You're, you're actually kind of get used to it because you're probably going to see one of the Reborns every week or something else on here that's not wax related every week. But I wanted to explain to you why Baby Hope tonight and why she was in this particular outfit really quickly before we go over empties. I'm going to let you know that as far as wax empties go, it was once again a week of just samples. Sample tester, and excuse me while I am waking into this trash bin because it's oh my god, all right. So, as far as boxes for the week. 
it was once again just tester containers all week, but I did finish up and replace two wallflowers as well. Oh gosh, I'm gonna turn these up. Okay, I've actually emptied out that bin, so I don't have to, I'm not gonna put anything back in that bin. We'll go over these testers that I finished. Iridescent Pearl Tester is actually what is currently in my bathroom right now. This is a very beautiful bathroom scent. It is a lighter scent, so I would not recommend it in larger spaces, but and y'all, I'm sorry. You know I fight with these lids because I saved these testers to do other things with them. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but iridescent pearl, beautiful scent. Would not use it in any larger space. Right now in my bedroom, I have going mad for a melon. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Probably not a lot of people's bedroom preference. But I'm not picky. I really, I can pretty much do. The only thing, the only kind of rule that I have is that I don't like to do foodie scents in the bathroom. Or bakery type scents in the bathroom. That's pretty much the only rule type. And I hate to even say rule because I could do it, but kind of general rule that I like to follow and not do is bakery in the bathroom. Other than that, I'm not picky. So, I have Mad for Melon currently going in my bedroom. This tester is probably not going to get saved because the lid will not <laughs> seal back into place. I don't know how sometimes these lids Hey, maybe that works. This is, well, it's a little crooked, but it'll work for now. Be Fabulous. This was what was in my bathroom just before I put in Iridescent Pearl. Sand Swept I had in my bedroom just before Mad for Melon. All of these are wonderful scents. Um... I had a trio mix in here for a few days of, this is Pina Colada Cha Cha, good grief, these little testers, getting the lids on them that are tricky sometimes. Um, there it goes. Along with Havana Cabana, which is another coconutty. Coconut pineapple type scent. So these went really well together. And then I gave a tropical twist by putting Camu Camu as the third scent here in this room. So I had a very tropical coconut, basically. The only other things I have, and I have to sniff test to try to tell what's what, are... Um, two wallflower bulbs. One of these was a strawberry pound cake and the other one was um raspberry tangerine. Oh, that's the raspberry. Now, you'll notice they do not have the wallflower wicks in them. That's because of um Ashley since with Ashley P here on YouTube, shared with us that you could pull, oh my word, that raspberry tendering, so good, that you could pull the wicks out of your wallflowers and pour the oil into a diffuser because Beth and Body tells you not to let them go all the way dry, so that's what I do now. Now, as far as my replacements, I have, I've only got one tag here. 
This, but I actually have two replacements. One of them I just put in tonight. I have in my bedroom now Waikiki Beach Coconut. And then tonight here in the library, I put in Strawberry Pound Cake again, actually. Because the Strawberry Pound Cake that I pulled out was in my bedroom. And as long as I don't put them back in the same room, I find that I don't go nose blind really to them because I move through. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm bad at not looking at the camera. But because I move through the rooms so much, I find that as long as I don't put the same scent in the same room twice in a row, that I don't tend to go nose blind. So, I have strawberry pound cake in here now. I just picked, I just put that in just before I started this video. So, it has not really started scenting. I actually had to go to Bath and Body this afternoon and pick up some wallflowers because I only had one wallflower bulb left and it was a twisted peppermint. I love but it's not the right time of year for Twisted Peppermint. I will not put Twisted Peppermint in until the week of Thanksgiving. So, it was not the right time of year for Twisted Peppermint. And I needed some more things. So, I got... They actually have... And just FYI, I live 15 minutes from an outlet mall area. So, we went to our Bath & Body outlet locally. Our local outlet. And they had their Wallflower 2-packs. The bulb 2-packs. Two boxes for $15. So, I picked up four boxes of Wallflowers. I picked up Strawberry Pound Cake. Champagne Toast. For like now, as we're starting to transition... And for actual fall time, I picked up Marshmallow Fireside and Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Two of my absolute fall favorites. Baby, help. Mama loves you. And I will not put my pumpkin in until September. But I'm, like, the wallflower that was in here, I'd had to pull it out dump the oil in the diffuser and I had not actually had a wallflower plugged in here in almost a week. I was like, I need to get a wallflower going because I miss my fragrance. Y'all, I really seriously, I miss my fragrance. If I don't have something going, I miss it horribly. So I, um, oh Lord, I've got to do better watching the camera. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I, I get busy trying to screw the lids on these testers and do things with the walls. I literally do not do good at watching the camera. I'm so sorry. But I needed to get fragrance in here. Now, it's not that I don't have fragrance because I have my warmers. I have my wax right now going in the warmers. And I didn't have it in here to discuss because it's not empty. There's three more cubes in the clam. But is the... Currently is the Cars Radiator Springs bar, which is the, like, lighter version of Cherry Limeade, which I love. And I wanted something that would be light that I could leave in for the weekend and on through Monday. Because on Tuesday, on Dusty's Miracle Day anniversary, I have a special trio mix that I will be warming and I will talk about it next week even though I will not have these in empties but I wanted something that would be lighter because I just changed out my wax last night left it on long enough to melt and then I do turn the warmers in here off because I'm not in the room so I don't want to waste the fragrance overnight I do turn these off because I'm not in here now the one in my bedroom I never turn off because it Unless I'm leaving the house. If I'm leaving the house, I do turn it off. But if I'm home, well, whatever room I'm in, the warmers are on. So overnight, when I'm sleeping, the warmer in my bedroom is on. So pretty much my bedroom warmer never turns off. Unless I'm leaving the house for something or I'm changing out the wax. 
But last night, I changed out the ones in here. I left them just long enough to melt the wax down. I turned them off. And we actually were not home today. We left the house by 9.30 this morning and we're gone all day. And, um, so I've not even turned them back on. But it's okay, because tomorrow afternoon, we will come home after morning church service. We'll have lunch. And we'll have to be back for choir practice. But I'll have a few hours. And I will turn these warmers on. And the wax will warm. Turn them off when we go back for evening service. I'll come back home and I'll turn them back on while I'm in here doing things till I get ready to go to bed. Um, and then the same thing on Monday. I'll spend a lot of time in here on Monday. I will have these warmers on. That wax, because it is a licensed scent and therefore a little bit lighter, it will run out. The scent will run out. So then on Tuesday morning, I'll be able to get up and put in my special trio that I will discuss with you guys in next week's empties. And for now, I just want to take a moment and thank you for joining me for this very rambly, very chatty, small, random empties. And um, thank you for putting up with the fact that my reborns... Well, they're going to be with me every video, but specifically right now, this is a time of, there's no telling what may happen in these videos. The next few weeks are going to be extremely emotional. This one, and then for the next three weeks leading up, because three weeks to the day is her birthday, and then of course we have the entire month of October, and pink everywhere, so I pretty much very well could be a wreck. Until the end of October, you guys. And then, of course, we're hitting holidays without her. So, and her four kids. Like, I just, I worry about them all the time. So, I, there's, but there's no substitute for the comfort that these precious little reborns, and I know it doesn't make sense, but for me, just, just to sit with them is so peaceful and so comforting. I, I cannot explain it. So, I want to thank you guys for putting up with the random rambly videos. The fact that the Reborns are here. Whether you enjoy the Reborns or not, you're putting up with them being here for me. Um, thank you for putting up with the stories and the rambliness of the videos. And just please enjoy your Sunday and enjoy your time with your family and your friends. Because honestly, we really never know. One of the greatest issues that I have still to this day that I struggle to let go of is the fact that I lost my last opportunity to be in a church service with my precious Dusty. I, um, we, my brother drove a Miata at the time and he wanted to go to this thing called Miatas at the Gap in Robbinsville, North Carolina. And so we booked a little cottage cabin thing and went to Miatas at the Gap. But that sun, so we were going to leave on Sunday afternoon after morning service. But just a few days before that Sunday, it might have been like Tuesday or Wednesday of that week, my Aunt Patty called my dad, and that's one of his sisters. And she said, they're ordaining Michael as a deacon on Sunday, and we'd really like for y'all to come. So, instead of going to our church, we went to their church for that Sunday morning service. Ate lunch with them in their fellowship hall, and then we left. And we went to Miata's at the Gap. And when I got up, oh my word, you guys. I got up to Miata's at the Gap. 
the little cottage was adorable. Like, it looked like my Dusty could have decorated it. And I know she didn't, but it looked like she could have. So, I felt like she was with us. And I knew she would have loved it. And I was taking pictures. Oh, I was so excited. I was taking all kinds of pictures for her. And I got up the next morning and went to make my coffee. You guys, there was a pink ribbon coffee mug in that cabinet that my dad gave to me. When he, because we were in a different place, I wasn't very good with, you know, well, how do I balance to make the coffee, to, you know. He, so he made my coffee for me and he brought it over and it was in this pink ribbon mug and I just started crying. And I took pictures and I was like, it was just so special. And that night we went out to a little local place that had been recommended to us by some friends who used to live in the area. Um, called the Stokoa Diner and we had eaten there a couple of years a couple of the previous years we had eaten there one meal. So we went to the Stokoa Diner, but one thing I had never noticed about the Stokoa Diner, I guess I just was not sat in the right place. Was that they had I'm sorry you guys, I'm hearing things in other rooms, and I'm like, what not? They had, um, a butterfly display on one of their walls. Like, their wall decor was butterflies on one of their walls. And I was like, oh my gosh. So, uh, and we actually were, our table was right across from it. In, on our 2019 trip. Which is, by the way, the last trip we've taken up there, because... And honestly, I'm thankful because I don't think I could emotionally tolerate going back up there. Um, but I took pictures of those butterflies and tried to to show her. And I sent her pictures and we actually chatted in the cabin that night. Messaged back and forth for like almost four hours. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that that church service that I missed being with her. And she talked about how good it was and how she couldn't wait to see me in church on Wednesday. And this was on Monday night? Or Tuesday night, I can't remember. No, Monday night. This was Monday night of that trip and she talked about how how good the service had been on Sunday and that she hated that I missed it and that she couldn't wait to see me at church on Wednesday neither one of us thought that she would be so sick that she wouldn't be able to come to church by Wednesday from just from Sunday like it moved when she got to the end it moved so quickly she was so sick. She couldn't come to church on Wednesday. And I cried and cried and cried. And I messaged her. And she was so weak. She couldn't. <sighs> she couldn't respond to messages. And then I went. And she had, she wanted to spend a lot of time here. And I went and I got her. And she came. Back to that, so she'd spent a lot of time here. Obviously, she had gone home while we were on this little trip. So I got her and she came back to me. And, but never in my wildest dreams did I think that she would never be well enough to be back in another church service. And so I've struggled for almost three years now. Or for for over three years from that date now with the fact that I gave up my last opportunity to be in a church service with her 
and that is so hard and I will never I don't know that I will ever be at a point where I can move past that but I know that she would want me to continue what I can find joy in. She would want me to enjoy everything that I can. And I'm determined to do what I can to continue her legacy. So when you guys hear these random chatty stories on these videos. And you hear me talking about why the Reborns came into my life. And all the stories, you know, it started with me needing something to get through that grief process. The, the... And like I say, you will never be through that process. But that that very new and acute phase, I needed something to get through that. And so that's how my precious hope came into my life. Um, when you hear these random stories like this, please just know. This is just, I've got to do what I can to preserve her legacy. So I want to thank you for spending the time with me. Taking the time to watch these videos. Even when they get rambling and they don't make sense. And I don't do great looking at the camera. You know we are going to cover fragrance things. We are going to cover wax things. We are probably going to chat about the Reborns at some point. Or some connected story somehow. But I want to thank you. For every week continuing to come back and to spend the time with me and to please remind you to enjoy your day and enjoy your time with your family and your friends because com complete honesty is you never know when that word you say to them may be the last word you get to say. Or that hug you give them may be the last hug you get to give. And there will be, and that, that day will come when you realize you can't do those things anymore. And what you would give to go back and be able to do those things. So my plea to you is please enjoy it. While you have it. I hope everyone has a very blessed Sunday. And I will see you next week.